Games are a different breed. Simultaneously, they are both harder and easier to deliver horrifying moments than that of a well told ghost story or a classic horror flick. And so, in the majority of cases, they get an unfair rap when held against the other media of the genre. But they have one massive advantage us, the player. What better way to experience a horror story than by actually being in it, making split second choices as to whether you'll run away or keep playing, despite your heart pumping so loud that you can hear it in your ears? What's going on? horror fans and welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube top 5 scary videos. As always I'll be your horror host Jack Finch and today we're changing it up a bit as we take a look at the top 5 scary video games you need to pray before playing. Roll the clip. <laughs> I so wish that game Silent Hills would have made it out of development. Hideo Kojima, Guillermo del Toro, and Silent Hill, sign me up. Oh well, what is dead may never die. The thing is, with video games, pretty much anything can be scary, whether it's Metal Gear Solid after a guard accidentally walked into your cardboard box, or Cuphead when you're running Perilous Pier for the 57th time and you've just gotten a little bit further than you ever have before. Larry the Lobster Man. But actual horror games, well, they're one of life's greatest joys, if that's your kind of thing. Anyway, before we dive into this list, you know how it is by now, horror fans. If you're a fan of this video, horror video games, or just top five scary videos in general, be a dear and hit that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe bell so you can stay up to date with our latest and greatest uploads. Make sure to show some love in the comment section down below and stick around to the end where I'll be reading out some of your most creative comments from the past few days. Kicking off at number five, Bloodborne. And this game is pretty much a must play for any horror fan or better still a fan of the works of HP Lovecraft. You know how we feel about the granddaddy of cosmic horror here at Top 5 Scary Videos. What did you expect? If you've ever played any of the Dark Souls series then this game will undoubtedly be familiar to you but the thing that sets it apart from its predecessors is the horror filled world that it draws its theme from. Released in 2015 by From Software, Bloodborne is a third person ARPG where you play as the hunter, a figure tasked with eliminating an entire city of vile creatures and monsters. The real horror of this game is its setting. Bloodborne takes place in Yharnam, a gothic city whose inhabitants were obsessed with the scientific properties of blood. Well, things go bad, obviously, and their obsession with blood corrupts the city, the result being an insane mashup of HP Lovecraft, Bram Stoker's Dracula, and the end of the world. Not going to lie, this game is hard, and the majority of the fear in this game comes from literally how punishing it is. Literally, even the most minor creatures are essentially boss battles and you're going to die over and over and over and over and the whole time you'll be terrified. Coming in at number four, Darkest Dungeon. With relic and ritual, I've bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets. Exhausting what remained of our family fortune. Alright, we've just got to get the Lovecraftian ones out of the way, then we'll be good, because as we all know, I'm biased. But I also want to deliver you guys the best of the best in this humble host's opinion. And Darkest Dungeon is definitely up there with the best of the best as video game horror experiences go. The thing that makes this game so damn good is its atmosphere and its ability to tell a slow burning psychological story through otherwise simplistic gameplay. But despite that, it's also one of the hardest games you'll ever play. Nothing simple about it. Released in 2016, Darkest Dungeon is a roguelike role playing dungeon crawler where the player inherits an estate from a mysterious relative who, while seeking fame and fortune, began excavating dungeons and catacombs beneath their manor. And in typical Lovecraftian fashion, of course, they unearth portals to dark dimensions, releasing a number of horrific demonic creatures into the world. Essentially, it's rats in the walls. The player must recruit a roster of adventurers and heroes who continuously suffer from the horrors of the dungeon, permanently leaving them with mental and physical scars. Also, if they die, they're dead. There's no extra lives in this game, and because of that, it's awesome. Next up at number three, Until Dawn. Oh, 
And this is probably the truest game out there when compared to a fully fledged horror movie. Because essentially, that's exactly what it is. It's an interactive horror movie with hundreds of different outcomes and a love letter to literally every teen slasher film you've ever seen. It's relatively simplistic in gameplay, but where it hits the mark is in its atmospheric storytelling. And it's also insanely tense. Also, Wendigos. Released in 2015, Until Dawn centres around a group of eight teenagers on their annual trip to the remote Blackwood Mountain in Western Canada. We've heard this one, right? Teenagers, remote location. What comes next? Of course, they get stalked by a creepy madman, but the stereotypes end there because what Until Dawn actually relies on is its idiosyncratic strength and its most important function, the player's choice. It's jam packed with a fantastic cast Remy Malik, Hayden Panettiere, Brett Dalton, and legit, it's a horrifying pleasure to look at. Until Dawn is a beautiful game. It's atmospheric, its sound design is fantastic, and its replayability is priceless. You probably won't feel the fear after the first few plays throughs but that first impression will be some truly tense hours of gameplay. Great game. Swinging in at number two, Amnesia The Dark Descent. I'll admit it, this is a game that I never actually finished, simply because I couldn't do it. I never even made it to the inner sanctum and I've learned to live with that. Because when people say horror video game, that is exactly what Amnesia The Dark Descent is. It's a terrifying video game, period. It played on the same kind of mechanical fear that Fatal Frame employed, which would have made this list, but eh, I don't know, I'm not a massive fan. There are no weapons in this game other than random stray objects that you can throw in vain that also do nothing. Your only real combat against the darkness is light. A lamp, a candle, a matchstick, which constantly burn down. You've never known fear unless you're walking down a corridor with a smidgen of oil left in your lamp and the sounds of shuffling feet behind you. Released in 2010, Amnesia The Dark Descent takes place in 1839, following the character Daniel, a young man from London that awakens in the dark, empty halls of the Prussian Brennenberg Castle. Also, he's got amnesia and can't quite remember why he's there. No spoilers, of course, and going into this story completely blind is the only way to play this game. It's a fantastic horror experience, and I'd implore you to test your mental fortitude against it. Also, please play it in daylight because there's no need to be a masochist. And finally, our number one spot, Silent Hill 2. It's hot as hell in here. You see it too. For me, it's always like this. The greatest horror video game ever made. End of story. Silent Hill 2 is perhaps the most tense, beautiful, strange, isolated, bleak, and every other existential adjective out there video game experience ever. It's a game that time and time again has had horror fans and video game enthusiasts equal parts perplexed and equal parts transfixed by its narrative. Mechanically speaking, there are so many things going on that it would take an entire video to cover it, but its technically difficult simplicity is where it shines. For the most part, it's an inaccessible game, and I've heard stories of people just straight up quitting because they can't figure out where to go next. It doesn't hold you by the hand, it forces you to break through the town of Silent Hill, punishing you at every corner, giving you no obvious clues or instructions as to its next step, and that's why it's a fantastic horror experience. Play this game purely for its sound design and soundtrack. Just listening to it back still gives me the spooks. On the surface, this is a game about a man exploring the abandoned and mysterious town of Silent Hill, but in actual fact, it's a psychological confrontation of one man's inner demons. Its themes are a slow crawl through regret, failure, isolation, the burden of responsibility. It's emotionally draining, and more importantly, it will leave its mark on you. And it's a game that still hasn't been surpassed as a horror experience. Pick it up, play it, and good luck. Laura! What are you doing? Ha ha! I tricked you! Open the door, Laura! Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Well, there we have it, folks. What do you guys think are the scariest horror video games ever made? Speak your mind in the comment box down below. Before we depart, let's read out some of your most creative comments from the past few days. Ty Shock says, Hey guys, big fan from across the pond. Keep up the creepy videos. Always a pleasure watching them. Well, Ty, thanks so much, my dude. But if you're from across the pond and I'm technically across the pond, which side of the pond are we actually on? 
Cinchy Beachy says, don't know if you're into gaming, but have you played Bloodborne, the old Hunters DLC specifically? Especially the last area of Fisher's Hamlet oozes Lovecraft from every pore. Well, good buddy. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got your answer. Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for in today's video. Cheers for sticking around all the way till the end. As always, I've been your host, Jack Finch. You've been watching top five scary videos. And until next time, you take it easy.